free! Palestine! Free, free! Palestine! Free, free! Palestine! People, how is it going? I'm in Westminster, Downing Street. Today is a protest. Uh, Israel uh, have been absolutely bombarding and like battering Palestinian, innocent Palestinians for as long as I can remember, for as long as I've been alive. But over the past week, it has been out of control. They've stormed the Al-Aqsa Mosque thrown flashbags in there, kicked people whilst they're praying and I think only last night there were airstrikes that killed about 20 innocent people, 15 of them being children. And obviously being in London, I feel helpless, I don't know what I can do to help but there's a protest today and you know I'm doing everything I can to try and raise awareness to make people understand what is actually going on. <laughs> Why are you here, my brother? It's just to stand in solidarity with the people who are vulnerable, you know? And this is the least you could do. Mm. Uh, I think what Israel is doing is not right. It's just not right. Okay. Killing children, killing innocent people is, 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 is downright wrong. There has to be a solution. There has to be a mutual solution. And in this world and age where diplomacy and diplomatic solutions are, are, are on everyone's agenda, why can't this be? Yeah. As a person in London, watching all this stuff, I, I, I get infuriated. I'm like, where's the humanity? Where's the compassion for human life? So as someone in London, I want to know, oh, I want to show people what they can do to show the solidarity. So just let us know why you're here. I'm here because I've always supported uh, the Palestinian cause. I stand firmly against the illegal occupation of Palestine uh, by Zionist State of Israel. And I think that what's happening specifically now in Shai Jarrah and Gaza, and especially the Al-Aqba Mosque, is absolutely disgusting. And the world needs to act up. Free, free, Palestine! Free, free, Palestine! Free, free! Palestine! Free, free! Palestine! Free, free! Palestine! I'm going to ask them if we're allowed to speak to them quickly. No. No? But if they say no, I'll go in it. I just want to get your opinion. Your opinion. Keep on moving. They're not even letting me ask these men. I'm not even allowed to ask them. I just want to get your opinion, man. They're not letting me ask. We need to know both sides of the story, right? Pardon? Yes, what I'm trying to do, but they won't let me. You need to go that way. I want to talk to you on a level. Do it like that. Do it like that. Yeah, but they, they, I'm, even, I'm just trying to speak to him. I'm just trying to speak to him. Everyone is entitled to everyone is entitled to their opinion. I yeah, I, I yeah. understand that, but don't I don't do agree. It, don't do it, and the police shouldn't allow them when they know the major major demo is going to be against be them. You get it? Be so to do that, that's provocation. Oh, yeah. They're squatting oh, yeah. in somebody else's land. <laughs> rights, their human rights, you know, to a, a peaceful life. They don't see them as human beings, I don't think. There is a kind of a, a, a protest, you know, of young, of young um, Israelis refusing to join the, um, the IDF. So, oh, yeah, because um, that is uh, that mandatory, is, right? Yeah, yeah, and they go to prison. I think if you want to see what's happened, go to Al, Je Al Jazeera, yeah. the documentaries. Yeah. The occupation of the American mind, sure. the lobby, all kinds of stuff like that. So what brought you here? Well, I study the international relations of the Middle East okay. and I'm going into conflict resolution. Wow. And I did Israel Palestine for my undergrad. There's a whole narrative of the, you know, both are acting in retaliation against each other, but inevitably it's, it starts somewhere, you know. But I think the problem is that the longer it goes on, evidently the worse it's going to get because you have, you have Israeli children that go through the Israeli education system, get told certain things, it's not their fault that they're told what they're told. Um, likewise, in Palestine, it's, uh, there's a problem of like a lack of, you know, all the different factions, all the different groups don't all agree on what it is that they want and actually it's really hard for them to work together to get what they want as well. So you have a very, very wealthy state who like, you know, through education, through the military, through the economy, through everything, can really, really fortify their state, fighting against a country that some people say doesn't even exist. The longer it goes on, like the less likely it is to be solved, the harder it's going to be. Here, just to make my presence felt at the end of the day, I think everyone just needs to make 
do what they can at the end of the day. Social media posting is one thing, but showing up in a physical space helps. It's going on now, the killing and the bloodshed was the Zionist doing in Jerusalem in Jar Jar Shah Jahan. Shah 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 Jahan. Shah and the mosque of the Al-Aqsa. Al Al yeah. Were they doing the bloodshed and destroying people, that's Palestinians and Jews. Yeah. And this is like the terrorism, real terrorism is a terrorist state. We're not allowed to pick up any arms, to take any land, and we need to stay in exile under the nations and accept what God gave us. That says Dalek Kibush. It means end the occupation in Hebrew. Um, that just says I'm a Jew and I'm against the occupation. It doesn't represent me in the slightest. I'm ashamed of it. It also doesn't represent a lot of Jewish people in Israel as well. What this represents partly is a prime minister of Israel who's doing everything he can to hold on to power. It's also the result of how many years of an apartheid state. The planet can't expect Palestinians not to resist. They've been pushed over the edge by the way they've been policed by the fact that they have Jewish fascists, you know, literally having demonstrations saying, kill the Muslims, kill the Arabs. I'm here with Mohammed, who I've seen at previous protests. It's good to see you here. I just wanted to ask quickly, if you had a message to give out to all the Palestinians right now, what would that be? You know, I really pray and hope during the month of Ramadan and just generally that you have the justice that's required and de uh, demanded of you guys. Just remember, for all our Muslim brothers, there's a lot of Muslims here, that this isn't just a Muslim issue. This is a humanity, humanity issue. It's not only Jews, Christians are also Muslims. We're all part of the same problem here. And inshallah, hopefully we all get justice. I'm here with another one of my friends who has been fighting the cause, not only for Palestine, but for the whole of humanity for a long, long time. He's a guy I rate very highly. If uh, you had a message to Palestinians right now, what would you tell them? I would like them to know that they're not alone in this struggle and that, you know, all over the world, we recognize, we recognize the conflict, we recognize the, um, the injustice and we stand with you. All we can really do is, is send our well wishes and, and, and march the streets for you and we will never be silent. And that's that people, it's come to the end of the protest, the streets are clearing, people came here to, to give a message of peace and solidarity to our brothers and sisters in Palestine. I'm feeling uplifted, I'm feeling motivated to do more as much as I can living where I live in London and hopefully from this video you just get an idea of what we are doing and how much you guys mean to us in Palestine. Sending our love, sending our compassion and our humanity towards you, to you all. And yeah, we're not going to stop until you guys get justice.